The iPhone 14 Pro is the greatest iPhone that Apple offers, but do you know that one feature on this phone is super outdated the lightning port on the iPhone is officially the biggest bottlenecker of the century. Apparently the iPhone 14 series are using USB 2.0 transfer speeds which is about 10 times slower than the USB 3.1 standard that we see on most smartphones like the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The lightning connector is a bottleneck Apple is recommending users to either use iCloud Photos to transfer Pro RAW photos between various devices, or send them wirelessly using AirDrop. But imagine transferring stuff to a Windows laptop or for some reason if you ever need a cable to transfer things then, you make sure that you have a bottle of NyQuil with you. Apple is already rumored to be ready to switch to a new cable possibly as soon as next year, New EU legislation is set to force Apple to use USB-C soon enough with a knock-on effect likely to be faster file transfers for those who need it. The iPhone 15 series speaking of iPhone 15 lineup as you guys know leaks they never stop, and Apple they never stop to piss people off. According to Ross Young Dynamic Island is coming to all iPhone 15 models, but Apple is still not bringing 120Hz refresh rate to the non-pro iPhone 15 models. The iPhone 15 could soon offer USB-C connectivity have persisted for months if accurate the new connector would offer speeds of up to 10 gaps or 40 Gps through Thunderbolt 3. Also in other leagues Apple is looking to make the iPhone Pro Max model even better than the standard Pro, and they might actually call it Ultra which means the next year's Pro Max model might be iPhone 15 Ultra. According to Ross Young Dynamic Island is coming to all iPhone 15 models, but Apple is still not bringing 120Hz refresh rate to the non-pro iPhone 15 models. Expectedly just like this year Apple could include the newer SLC on the pro models only, so regular iPhone 15 models would get the A16 Bionic while the higher end ones get an all new 17 one. A new naming scheme could drop the Pro Max label in this case the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro and 15 Ultra. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe, with that being said I'll see you guys later, peace out.